Intern, good morning, good morning. Oh, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Because in this tank, in this itty bitty little container, which is kind of startling because it is indeed so itty bitty, is our new whale shark. Our new whale shark. Okay, come on, let's look at him. His name is Duke. It was quite interesting to try to get my hands on him. They wanted a little more money than I had at the time, but thankfully another grant came through. And now we've got Duke. Oh, and he's right in the water, jeez. All right, let's dive in and see how he and Duchess do. Duchess has been so lonely for so long. I'm so glad that we're able to get her a partner. And we overshot. That's okay, that's okay. Wow. Hello, concrete wall. You're not exactly what I want to be looking at right now. All right, let's come over here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's try this again. There we go. And ladies' pregnancy. It was lady, not last. I got them mixed up. It's coming along just fine. It is taking her forever to have that baby, though. But it does take a long time for these whales to gestate their babies. So it shouldn't... Ooh, look how pretty it is down there. Mm -hmm. Even though it's such a... <gasps> is that him? Is that him? Oop, let's fill this up while we're down here, huh? What's supposed to be in here anyway? Ooh, squid. Oh, look at those yummy squid. There's Knight swimming by, saying hi. Are you a Duke or Duchess? Knight? Knight really wants our attention. He's a very social pilot, Will. He's probably so excited that he has his own little harem of females. Hi, pretty. Hi. Oh, look at this. Just look at this. Oh, this one's shy. So are you Duke or Duchess? I can't tell. I can't tell. Let's see. Oh, our girl has been put in a trait. We better go check on her. I bet she tried to sneak out through the... Oh, come here. Dang it. Well, we'll check on Duke in just a second. No, she's not in a crate. People are just being weird. Ooh, and apparently... Oh, nope, nope. Now she's in a crate. That's not cool. Our zookeepers really... Our zookeepers really need to have a little bit of a, a conversation with us. Let's see. All right, Keeper Lee. Still Keeper Lee. Why did you do that? She's just fine. You don't need to mess with her. Though actually, I think she'd appreciate if we... What? How did her area get all, all messed up again? Hang on, little girl. So maybe it's a good thing she's in a crate for just a second. We'll come here and fix her area. I am telling you, intern, I should not be left alone with these tools. Somehow, I just keep making mistakes. It's quite alarming. <sighs> quite alarming indeed, but all right, let's get in here and fix this up because we have things to do today, intern. I'm pretty sure I've told you about some of them already, but we're going to go work over in the whale uh, area, getting the food court designed and ready. Good grief, how on earth did I even do this? Can you get down, please? That's supposed to be her little island to bask on. You're not supposed to be that tall. That That's, that's not the designated tallness that you were supposed to be. Let's see, let's try moving this tree. That kind of upset things over there. This is why I shouldn't be trusted with these things in turn. There we go. Got her little island back where it needs to be. Let's move the elephant ear back over here. I messed things up over here. But not too badly because nothing's too, too alarmed. Did that make it better? Oh my gosh, I just should not be trusted with this. We need to like hire Zookeeper Ben to come and do this for us. Look at that. Somehow we managed to get her crate in the bench. She is not a happy thing right now, I bet. Not a happy crocodilian. All right, there. Now she's back out. This area needs tended to a little bit. I can't believe we end up spending so much of our time just having to, to fix these little mistakes. All right. I see what you're trying to do there, fence. I'm not having any of it. And then let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's just go ahead and... There, take that. You've been flattened. You've been flattened. Now you're going to have to let our guest walk over here. No guest over here just yet. We had a couple people kind of peek. But I don't blame them. Rumor of how crazy this area has been must be everywhere. Also, why is there a turtle? Centria? How does Centria keep doing this? She is the expert of escaping and getting up to things. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that old lady. She's been around the zoo. Oh, hey, check it out. A lot of guests checking out our eel. Who should be having more babies soon. Probably stopping by for some coffee from our sponsors. What do you think, Megan? What are your thoughts? Ooh, you haven't bought much. 
she's liking the fish. Liking the, the fish. Ooh, she checked out the lion heads. Cool. All right, so everyone's doing good over there. All right. Hey, she already has food. You don't need... Behaving aggressively. Hmm. Well, we'll keep an eye on that. Maybe she needs another pile of fish over here. We'll go ahead and put another pile of fish right there for her. There we go. She should enjoy that. All right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't find a place to put her food if she was behaving aggressively towards me, too. I don't really blame him for being a little bit alarmed. I'm still pleased as punch over the amazingness of our beautiful goblin tank over here. But you see, then you get over here, and it's just a chaotic mess. Our whales are starting to have babies and breed. Things are getting more interesting. And I think we need to think about what other exhibits we're going to put along here. I'm thinking we'll do another small exhibit like this to complement... Uh, the area like right here. I'm thinking sea snake. I'm pretty excited about that idea actually. Putting some sea snakes right here. And then along here probably another whale tank. Um, you guys don't need to reach it. Stop panicking. Just leave her alone. She's she's kind of cranky because she was thrown in a crate that was thrown into a bench. So everybody <gasps> guessed! There's guests in the area down here. Oh goodness. Okay. Hem hem. What do you think Elena? Can't wait to see some animals. She was checking out the marine iguanas and thought it was cool how they were resting on their little coastal island. The marine iguanas are quite interesting. I agree, they're pretty cool. And then Sven and Elsa were chasing each other. This zoo is great. She only has $6 left. Little girl, you have spent your allowance wisely. No doubt you will take those little paraphernalia pieces home. You will listen to the informational CDs that we have and grow up one day and be a biologist. <sighs> Just warms my heart thinking about it. Just warms my heart. All right, let's see. What else do we have over here? That's just a zookeeper. But that reminds me. Manatee keeper. You're assigned to a few spots. And I'm going to assign you to a couple more. You are now in charge of... Can I not, can I not assign you? Add a new assignment. Right here? Yes, no, maybe so. I guess he's got too many assignments. Okay, we'll have to keep an eye on the... Why is somebody in a crate here? My zookeepers are getting very crate happy. I'm not I'm not really content with this. We'll have to have a discussion with them. Why is Kapu... Kapu should not be in a, trait, a crate. Kapu and Nani. And why aren't they having babies? Why are you being tranquilized? I really need to have a discussion with my zookeepers and my maintenance workers. Look at this. This thing's messy. Look at this filter. I can't believe it's just out where everyone can see it. That's not the way we do things. Not the way we do things at all. This whole area needs spruced up still too. But I'm getting sidetracked in turn. I'm getting sidetracked by worrying about those things. And today we're worrying about these things on this side of the zoo. Flying jellyfish. Yet again. That's right. You guys better stay back in the water. But yes, so I'm thinking, because I actually had to do a paper about the sea snakes recently, learned fascinating things about them. We know very little about specific species of sea snake. It was uh, very, very interesting to learn. But I do happen to know that we should have... Right there, our little sea snake. Look at that little itty bitty sea snake. And some people do say that they are currently low risk for being endangered, but it really depends on the species I found out. And unfortunately, sea snake skin uh, has gotten quite popular lately, which is kind of interesting. But you know, snake skin, some people, especially um, more towards like the countries through Asia and a lot of the islands between the southeast portion of Asia and down to Australia, are still really big into snake skin and uh, sea snake meat. So unfortunately they're being hunted pretty intensely, but so is everything else in the ocean. That's one of the reasons we're here in turn, is so we can educate people about that and try to help them out. They are helpless on land. Uh, they do get a little bit aggressive if they're on land and threatened because they suck at moving around on land. They're not graceful the way that their land snake cousins are. Um, oh yeah, and they do travel in thousands sometimes. They'll just group together in groups of thousands, the way that many things in the ocean will sometimes, kind of like birds. Big swarming groups like that are one of the things that fascinate me. Birds that travel in flocks of hundreds of hundreds of millions, like it's ridiculous the numbers they get up to. Uh, and p things in the ocean do that too. I was actually talking to Zookeeper Ben today about working on a hammerhead exhibit for hammerheads. And we might do, you know, like a sunken ocean. He was giving me tips on that. And hammerheads travel in very large groups too. It's one of the most beautiful things to see. There we go. Yep. Oh, and I learned that sea snakes 
when they have babies. And now I really, I have to do it. I have to build a sea snake exhibit. In turn, it's just, it's happening. But before I do that, let me look over here. Hmm. I kind of want to put more whales over here. And we know that in the middle, either over here or over here, we're going to have our orca exhibit because orcas are very popular. Though we have to have a good conversation about uh, keeping orcas in captivity in turn. That's a very serious subject that we will talk about one day. Not right now, though. We're going to focus on the fun sea snake stuff. Pilot well. The right well is huge. <laughs> Hector's beak well might be able to go over here okay. The pygmy sperm well. So there's quite a few different whales. The pygmy right well. Let's see. The humpback well is gigantic. It would be beautiful to see, though. All right, what else do we have over here? Doll's porpoise. That would actually be really fun, especially with some blue marlins right here. So I think we'll do the porpoise and blue marlins um, right here, like along this area. So we'll try to make it sort of like this. We'll probably have to fight back the, the mountain a little bit. I'll have to see if I can get permits to do that, though. But that'll be what goes there. So what goes right here is going to be kind of the food court that we can make kind of loop around. And we'll have our sea snake exhibit which probably is going to be a little bit bigger than this exhibit because I want to give them a little bit more room. But let's go ahead and get started on that in turn. But yeah, I learned lots of interesting stuff about the sea snakes when I was researching about them recently. All right, one, two, three. Good, good, good. Remember, if we keep it at least three wide, so how big? Then we can put up those cool archways for people to walk through. So if we did it this big, that's what it would look like. And then we could do that and have the food court and things over here. Hmm. But you know, I'm okay with making it a little bit bigger, even though it won't be all symmetrical. Since when is the ocean symmetrical, honestly? So we're gonna widen it on both sides. And in fact, I'll even widen it in width too. So length and width is gonna get a little bit bigger. Yummy are you? Because that's, that's what makes this cool. Like we can make it three, maybe, like, let me think. One, two, three. One, two, three. We make it this big. Yeah, that's okay. We'll have it. Yeah, a little sea snake exhibit that people can walk through right here. Because we're going to put lots of sea snakes in here. Make it look nice and pretty. And there we go. Sorry about the intern. I had to just do a little bit of judging. Do we like that intern? How do I get curve there and like pokey there? Huh. I like the curve though. Can we make it more curvy please? How do I, how do we make it so curvy? See, all these years intern and we're still figuring out... Bah. Some of the details. Like that, huh? Okay. Okay, I, I figured that out. Some of the details of how you just make... Let's see. Okay, like this. Haha! -ha, we made it curved! That is why you always have to just love this job, right? You constantly are learning new things every day, even if it's just something like how to make an aquarium curved. And you're learning a lot about sea snakes today, I hope. There are several different species. There we go. All right, so we'll make this a little pathway and then we can start, hmm. Cause I did kind of want to start the pilot wheels right over here. So maybe but at the same time, hmm, hmm, hmm. You gotta think about these layout things really carefully in turn. That's one of the tricky parts, because we can always move like this stuff down here and start the pilot wells like right here. Yeah, yeah, we're probably gonna have to fight with that mountain, aren't we? All right, we'll fight with the mountain in the future. Let's go ahead and get the pathways down and then we'll get inside and work on the beautiful sea snake exhibit. And do you have any ideas for what else we could put in the food court or how we could organize it? Because we do need to take care of that. People have to eat. We have to make it comfortable. Remember, what is one of the number one rules for working here? Provide plenty of bathrooms. The guests and their bladders are some of our primary concerns. 
But thankfully, we have a bathroom that we built into the goblin the goblin shark exhibit area. I'm very proud of that, actually. It turned out really nice. There we go. There we go. All right. Man, this is actually starting to come together over here. That's so exciting. Now, here's something else that I would argue, because these guys are listed as being deep sea sort of sort of friends but actually it's not that common to find sea snakes in the deep sea they usually only dive up to about 100 meters or 300 feet and they're primarily found around like coral reefs and coastal waters the average depth that they're usually found at is about 10 feet so i'm saying that these guys are not actually deep sea critters um maybe this specific species is but i'm sure we can get our hands on some others oh look at it they have really cool paddle-like tails that i really like too so I'm actually saying that these guys are coral reef. And that is what I'm going to put them in. And they're going to be okay. Don't worry. I'll talk with the people when we adopt them to make sure we get a species that is a little more suited for being in the coral reef area. All right, Interna, you ready? Besides, the coral reef means we can have more plants. Oh, you know how I feel about the plants. <laughs> All right, now let's look up. There we go. The reef. And look at that. I mean, isn't that just gorgeous? This is what will inspire people when they come to our zoo. Our little marine park, even. I like marine park. It just, you know, it seems fancy and, and classy. There are several different types of, like, sea snakes that specialize in different prey, too. The sea snakes that specialize in eating eels, actually, which are pretty cool. Uh, those guys have really, really small heads that are great for burrowing into the rock crevices where the eels hide. But they have these fat bodies, so they have these minuscule, teeny little heads. Minuscule is actually the word that was used in the scientific article I read about them. <laughs> minuscule heads. And then they've got these, like, bodies that can be up to ten times the size of their head. Isn't that just ridiculous? <laughs> Alright, now we can customize it with a little bit of plate coral and some staghorn coral. You want to handle the coral very carefully. Remember, the coral is also uh, living living organisms, living creatures. Oh, I love that table coral. Oh, that one's bluish. Oh, how can I resist? All right, now we go to add a giant clam. Let's put some of the blue-green coral in here. There we go. We're looking good. Tuck that over here. Let's add a sea whip. Can we have a sea whip? Let's put a sea whip right here. Mm. Red feather star. Oh, look at this. We are getting really good at this in turn. It's not really taking the time that it used to to really meticulously have to sort through everything and go like, hmm, do we want this or this? That's because we're getting the hang of it. And one day, my dream is to take the money I have earned, which is not that much because <laughs> I keep spending it on animals for my personal home too. But to take the money that I have earned from working these jobs for so many years and open up a zoo where I can just show off my favorite skills and help out with species that need conservation and things like that. So, got lots of job offers that I need to follow up on with different zoos right now, though. Alright, do that. And now, let's see. Let's go ahead and find, I think it'll be under coastal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there we go. Let's get just the short yield grass, just a little bit of it, kind of sprinkle it in here. Now, sea snakes are venomous, but you don't really have to be too alarmed. Uh, they can cause death, so if you do get bitten, please go see our medical staff right away. But the sea snakes primarily, uh, it's thought that their, their venom is used more for feeding and not defense. So it's not really like meant to kill. Uh, it is meant to kill, but not meant like a rattlesnake venom is meant to kill, or a mamba snake's venom is meant to kill. There we go, add lots of that. All right, what else do you guys need? You like tuna? You like herring? We can add in a few herring. Ooh, let's add in some, some clams. Some ice blocks with clams. I always love doing that. Ooh, and they like the bubbler. Gotta admit, the bubbler is pretty cool. I bet if I was a fish, I would just want to sit in here and watch it open and close all day. All right, no shelter needed. Otherwise, doing good. There we go. All right, so there's our sea snake exhibit. Oh my gosh, I really want some of those birds, too. <gasps> we'll, have to, we'll have to just be careful. Ooh, you know what? Let's add in some fish for some variety. Don't need to add in a green sea turtle, though. That's just that's just where we start to get silly. And some John Dorries. Why not? 
Wait, do we want to? No, let's not do John Dory's. Where's our reef? Reef, reef, reef. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Some yellow clownfish. Let's just put in two females. Two males. Uh, red parrotfish. We'll add in one of each and see how they breed. <laughs> All right. And now let's add in our sea snakes. Doo -doo -doo. There they are. <gasps> ooh, ooh, I almost forgot. We have a bunch of jellyfish right over there, though. I was gonna sneak in like there. Just one. Just one for now. No need for a lion's mane. Not the flower's hat. Where's the cannonball? How big are you? How big are you? Oh, you're so teensy. We'll add in a couple. A couple cannonball jellyfish. There we go. Alright, there. And do 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 do. Ooh, the wow, stinger. Man, these jellyfish are so pretty. Okay, 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 focus. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add in, let's see, let's do three females and two males, and we'll see what happens. All right, there's that. And then the water's splashing everywhere as everybody gets, gets settled in. Oh man, we're really starting to look like a proper zoo. Look at this, you can turn around, stare at our jellyfish tank full of jellyfish, maybe two full of jellyfish. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll like sort these guys out a little bit. Spread them out through the different tanks. And let's come over here. <gasps> Look at how teensy they are. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, let's dive in. Let's dive in and check it out. Wow, we went through our money fast. <laughs> and let's check out on how Duke is doing too. Hello everybody. I'm grooming people apparently. <gasps> oh wow, it's so pretty so pretty oh look at it oh my gosh it's gorgeous come back come back I want to look at you again <gasps> oh look at that sea snake the paddle like tail the minuscule head but it still looks like a snake which I love all right let's swim up 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 and then look down oh there's one man they're so teensy I didn't expect that okay hold still you you're so tiny. Why are you so teensy tiny, huh? Okay, you gotta hold still. Oh my gosh, it's so small. I did not expect it to be so teensy. Oh, you're teensy tiny. Well, you're very cute. I like you. Oh my gosh, it's like swimming around. I did not expect them to be that itty bitty. That is pretty amazing. Oh, are you having trouble reaching your food? That's because you shouldn't be drinking out of that food. You should be drinking out of here. Okay, we'll keep an eye on her. Somebody's being born over here. Was that an egg? Was that an egg that the peacocks just laid in the middle of the street? It sure is. It sure is an egg that was just... We need to put a sign up. Please watch out for peacock eggs. Oh, it's not a peacock. It's one of the Takahi. Aww. Hey, Buddha Stew, don't do that. Come back. Ah. Do not beach thyself on land, please. I think they, they don't beach themselves as much as they get stuck. Whew! Oh man! So things are starting to come together here. We're just gonna have to start work on the food court. Can, we can probably put up the walls for where we're gonna have more of our exhibits for the, the whales and things. We'll have to see if I can get a permit to kind of fight back this, this mountain. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with the mountain. I gotta think about that. It is a very beautiful natural feature, but if we can just carve that out, that would be very helpful. And how's Duke settling in? Hey, Duke. Going to mate with Duchess. Well, we won't interrupt you two, but it looks like we're going to have some baby whale sharks pretty soon. That is exciting. And lady, how's your pregnancy coming along? Nice and slow, just like I thought. <sighs> well, there we go, intern. Oh, and I need to make sure I put in, because these guys are actually going to need a little bit of attention. So let's go ahead and we'll add just a little, like a little area probably right over here like we'll make a little gated area so that just our zookeepers can go through the gate and let me add a filter there and that should take care of those guys and where's our hedge where's our hedge 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 hedge, hedge. come on I know you hear somewhere there you are all right we'll go ahead and put the hedge fence around it should be yeah the hedge fence hides things that's why I like it 
I guess it would look silly over here though because this is kind of like an underwater area but people can deal because I like I like the hedge fence it's, it's green it's green everything is good with green see and there we go now it's kind of tucked away so people can just walk around it ignore the the maintenance area please but everything else is good so I'm gonna jump in and kind of keep an eye on our sea snakes and our flying jellyfish ah <sighs> and I will see you tomorrow morning bright and early intern where'd our sea snakes go <gasps> there they are they're so cute they're so teensy I'm gonna try to get a good picture of these itty bitties. Woo! If I could figure out how to swim, that would probably be awesome. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow, intern. Bye bye!